Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about TJ up top boss proposing to his longtime girlfriend. And of course, I know some fans react to it because based on the comments, it seems like a lot of persons feel like a long time the boss should have actually do that. You understand, my people? So I'm going to show a video and we're going to talk about it. Is it? Also, we're going to talk about Dancehall Queen Spice revealing her plans for her upcoming album to her besties. So you don't know so Spice will drop an album this year, my people. And it seems like it's going to have a lot of bangers because Spice no put out nothing for a while now so you don't know she work hard at it and thing is it also i'm gonna talk about a popular rapper who is accused of paying jada kingdom for sex finally reveal the reason why he did actually give her some money yes my people no need to stick around also i'm gonna talk about bounty killer beanie man and bojo bantan allegedly used by mark golding to get votes also i'm gonna talk about tony mataran and Futa hype urge to unban alkaline and play some of his music and also i'm gonna talk about a man sending a serious message to the police who he accused of running trim yard and basically you know fire shot and them thing them people so may i play the video when i go can see what go on also i gonna talk about dancehall artist gage finally break his silence about his clothing being put out of a particular home where he was staying and gage reveals say a particular person did want to take him life you understand my people so one bag of thing i go on in the february here also, I'm going to talk about Ziggy Marley called out for using non-Jamaicans in the Bob Marley biopic. So before I go no further into the topics, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, head over to my Instagram page, MixUpTime4, but I definitely appreciate that. Alright people, so the first thing we're going to talk about is TJ up top boss, who proposed to him long time girlfriend last night. You see my people, and I definitely support this move, because I feel like that girl here is definitely one of them ride or die chick. You don't know, she's there with TJ from long time before him become like this big superstar. And also, she's the mother of his child, or children. You understand my people? Now, if you follow up TJ Instagram page, you know that she imposes her something time and you don't know him also carry her whenever he might travel sometime and thing you see me is a man where you can see say him love that girl here and you know one of them ride or die chick like me say we're dead of him from the start and you know seem like the love is very genuine because in these times I tell him tell you no more people Love is not an easy thing, especially with some of them women here who just want their own man or just want a man for money and them things. They understand, but they don't really want you. But anyway, my people, let me play the video now. Only can see what I go on as it relates to TJ up top boss. And you don't know in the comment section, only can go and leave some congratulatory message for the up top boss. You see it, my people. So yeah, check out that clip here. <laughs> Yeah, my people, so as I say, it's definitely a good look. Big up to TJ up top, boss, and just go and do the right thing, yeah, brother. You see me? If I have a good woman, does treat her good and them thing, they and just, you know, make life with her. Mm -hmm. You don't need to follow everybody and, you know, have a bag of women. Although I mean, I swear for no man, still, cause, you know, you can still have a bag of women, but still, you know what I mean? You know, make her your wife, man. I definitely support that move here, you see it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Tony Mataran and Futa Hype being urged to unban Alkaline and play some of his music. You understand, my people? And it seemed like an event was recently kept, right? And a other selector is basically, is like him ask Futa Hype and Tony Mataran to start being biased as it relates to certain artists and things. You may remember Tony Mataran same a gatekeeper, you know, and certain artists him now play their music and them thing there. Now as it relates to Alkaline, I don't know why Tony Mataran don't play Alkaline, I don't know if him really don't play Alkaline, but that's how the people must say certain artists him not play and them thing there. Same thing with Futa Hype and of course in the past Uno knows that Tony Mataran and Alkaline did have them differences. Alkaline did 
you know, style him and him did style back Alkaline and them little thing there. See me and of course you know the same thing with footer hype and thing. I think Alkaline this footer hype to in the past. But anyway, my people, may I run this clip now where a selector talk about um you know them for play Alkaline and all them bag of thing them people. Uno can also tell me when you think about this in the comment section. Watch this. <laughs> Yeah, my people, so at the end of the day, still, them selector here are selectors on a whole not playing alkaline music. It not go well, man. I go say it not go hurt the entertainer career because selectors do play an integral role, but at the same time, Alkaline don't bust with big and there's nothing nobody can really do for stop the entertainer. You see me? If you don't want to play music, then so be it. If music still go get heard, you understand it. They're online and people still go listen to your music, watching videos and them things. There's it, but it only sad this thing too personal and you know it's like whenever them go them not play the entertainers music you see me if a next selector or a next dj or whatever call you out and i say yo you need to play alkaline music then you must know say it it it, it no look good none at all you see my people so i'm not sure if tony materana go forward and address this but i guess what for those watch and say right my people so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're gonna talk about is a popular american rapper who I guess he must have SEX with Jada Kingdom Zine, my people, and the rapper water about his Fredo Bang. Now, it is alleged that he paid, must say, $30,000 feet, you understand, for the Nookie. Um, but what I come for find out, say, well, according to him, that's not the case. He never paid no money feet. He just gave her some money to help stop her deportation or stop her from getting deported, you understand, my people, so. Let me get to this article. Only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. Is it, my people? So, um, this is what the story I say. Fredo Bang says he gave Jada Kingdom $6,000 to help stop deportation. Fredo Bang says he did not pay Jada Kingdom for SEX, but instead loaned her money to assist her as she was facing deportation. Jada Kingdom moved to the United States during the pandemic after signing a record deal with Republic Records in 2021. Under the deal, Jada did not release an album and left the label in 2023. Last year, Asian Doll and Jada Kingdom shocked people when they had a spot online and seemingly claimed that Fredo Bang had paid the latter for SEX. Asian Dal claim that the trust issues rapper had paid ten had paid her tens of thousands according to asian doll it was ten thousand dollars you told me you f fredo bang for thousands of dollars you always you always told me i f fredo bang and he gave me ten thousand dollars because i'm a cause i'm a finna get deported you said this crazy stuff to me why would i get on the internet and lie Asian Dal said on Instagram Live. However, Jada Kingdom did not did not deny a claim and instead said it was thirty-five thousand dollars that the button rogue rapper gave her. However, Freda Bang previously denied that he paid for the Nookie. In a new interview on the Whole Fashions podcast, Freda Bang said he loaned Jada Kingdom money to assist her in a jam dealing with immigration woes. Absolutely not what you are talking about, he said, laughing. When the host asked him about the claims i have never paid for no yams it's annoying and that's my biggest problem she ain't clear it up i loaned her some money one time he said when the host asked whether jada had replied or repaid it he said no fredo bang also denied that he and jada were you know involved instead saying that they were close before he went to jail and that time he lent her the money he was in prison no I was in jail when I did it. We was real tight. I was dating nobody, but we was real tight. We was real cool. She needed it for something dealing with deportation, and it wasn't nowhere close to $30,000. It was 6500 I don't know where the confusion came in, and I was really upset when she didn't clear it up. The rapper said, Jada Kingdom has never addressed the rumor she was selling the Nookie despite Asian Dal and Steph London tried to use it to embarrass her during their beef in January. 
So yes, my people, that is what the popular rapper had to say. As he, Jada Kingdom, they're going to get deported back to Jamaica and him did lend her the money for sort out her deportation, for sort out her papers and them thing they as it. So I don't really know. See, in Jada Kingdom, say, a 35K, this man PR feet for the, for the, for the front, see, and him say, at $6,000, I'm Lenar. So I don't know. Somebody definitely a lie about this. It's not like it's really important because at the end of the day, this is not any life-changing matter. But, you know, me, me don't know. If me for say, oh, I believe, ah, for some reason, I feel like I believe Jada Kingdom them because obviously Jada Kingdom go to our friend Asia and Dal and say, yo, you know, she do whatever. Or maybe Fred Bang and her do the thing, but him never pay for it, him get the money differently. I don't know people, but something just somebody definitely a lie. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Ziggy Marley being called a sellout. And the reason why them are call him are yeah, some people are call him a sellout is because in relation to the Bob Marley biopic, no Jamaicans actually played in it. You understand in the movie and thing, right? Um, to some persons, that's like a slap in the face. And I actually play a video with somebody and say, yo, all right, him never have a Jamaican for play Bob Marley, right? Or play the role of Bob Marley because Ziggy Marley did do an interview and revealed that he wanted to use a Jamaican for play Bob Marley, but he couldn't find a suitable actor. Maybe the person who he wanted to use or the people who he did have eyes for use for play Bob Marley, they weren't as... You know, where they call it now. Them, them acting skills wasn't up to par. You understand? I don't know my people, but he must say he couldn't find a suitable actor or a Jamaican actor, I should I say, is it? So, you know, he's being called out as to why he never used Jamaicans to play other roles since Bob Marley alone he couldn't find a suitable actor or Jamaican actor for. You understand what I say, my people? So, I don't know, but a lot of persons who watch the movie actually said it was a good movie and people are going to enjoy it and all of that. You see, my people? But when I watch it, I will say if that's the real case in relation to it. But I feel like it's definitely a good movie. But anyway, my people, I could get to this video now. I want you to tell me if you agree that Ziggy Marley, you know, basically a sellout. I will say pretty than a bash. <laughs> pretty than a speak out on it among some other people. Um, mm. Jamaican people, let me tell you something. Watch the Bob Marley One Love movie. Please. America spent a lot of money to make the movie and they hired some great English actors. But I will comment on this picture here. Ziggy Marley said he wanted a Jamaican to play Bob Marley but couldn't find a suitable actor. Ziggy, you in charge of this. All right, I'll talk to you, Bridget. So you couldn't find a Jamaican actor for Bob. No problem. I made that slide. How about, could you find a Jamaican actor for Rita Marley? Or how about, could you find a Jamaican actor for Peter Tosh? Could you find a Jamaican actor for... Or no, no, better yet. Could you find a Jamaican actor for Sidney Breakspear? Because the lady that you are having playing Sidney Breakspear have less than 4,000 followers on our Instagram. When I personally know a Jamaican with over 600,000 followers on TikTok alone that could have played Sidney Breakspear. But I'm not going to call her name. I'm going to throw me can, but I'm not going to call the blood clot foul. I know even people that were passed off for Peter Tosh. Benjamin, no, no, Jamaica were on a pass off. You did put two Jamaicans in some big roles. One was a white Jamaican. His name is Nesta, and you made him an Australian reporter. Big up Naomi Cowan, you're doing the thing. I went to school with you and your brother. You probably don't remember me. But let me explain something deeper than the Bob Marley movie. I'm going to talk about Jamaica selling out the Bob Marley movie might attract people to the island for yeah more people so as I said I don't really know still but um we know said that movie uh, so far it make a whole heap of money you understand more people um you know them always have like the opening sales or something like that I think we see how much millions of dollars it makes so far is it so you know it have a little hype around it and thing and thing is it more people so if you watch a movie already on a scale from one to ten, why you tell me how good was it in the comment section? You see it, my people. But as I say, definitely I go check it out to see what's going on in relation to this Bob Marley biopic. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Bojo Bantan, Bounty Killer, and Beanie Man, who them say is being used by Mark Golding to actually get votes. You understand, my people? So Mark Golding make a couple posts over upon him Instagram page, right, my people, and. 
is like, here we know, basically, because him post the entertainers them in relation to reggae month, them feel like a vote him a look. Zin my people, me I actually show you the post them way make. And uh, you can tell me where you think about this if you feel like a vote him a look or you know him genuinely care about the, 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 the culture and all of that. Zin. So me I got shown you the beanie man one first, right? So you can see it on the screen. Reggae month twenty twenty four celebrating our icons. Um, Beanie Man, Sim Sima, who got the key to my Bima, who am I? Today, I wish to celebrate the one and only Beanie Man, a musical force whose name is synonymous with infectious rhythms and boundless energy. Born Moses Davis burst onto the scene into the 80s, setting dance all ablaze with his undeniable charisma and lyrical prowess. From the early days to becoming the king of dancehall or king of the dancehall, Beanie Man's journey is a rhythmic odyssey marked his hits like Who Am I, Sim Sima and Dude. His ability to blend dancehall vibes with cross-genre appeal showcases a versatility that keeps him ever relevant. Bojo Bantan him said, Today I salute um, incomparable or the incomparable Bojo Bantan, a living legend whose lyrical prowess and magnetic presence have become synonymous with reggae rich tapsy, tapestry, my bad, tapestry. Born Mark Anthony Myrie, Bojo's musical journey began in the 90s, quickly establishing him as a trailblazer in dancehall and reggae. Him unmistakable deep voice delivered profound messages, earning him acclaim for hits like Hills and Valleys, Murderer, and the Anthem Untold Stories. Beyond the stage, Bojo's impact reverberates in his ability to transcend genres, seem seamlessly wavering dancehall, reggae, and conscious lyrics. As we reveal in Reggae Month, let's salute Bojo Bantan, a musical luminary whose influence echoes in every card, reminding us that reggae is not just a genre, but a powerful force that shapes hearts and minds worldwide. Now, on to Bounty Killer post. Bounty did also respond to Mark Golden posting him. I see it, my people. But anyway, the post say. Born Rodney Basil Price on June 12, 1972, his journey began amidst the alleys of Kingston, where the rhythmic of the street became the backdrop of his rise in the, in the genre of dancehall. The 90s marked his ascendancy with anthems like Poor People, Governor and Look, resonating not only as dancehall anthems, but also a poignant reflections of the socio-economic landscape. More than a stage presence, Bounty Killer mentors the next wave of artists, weaving a legacy that extends beyond music. So when he posts that now, as Mr. Bounty Killer jumping in the comment section and him say, salute Mr. Golden, give a thanks, is it? But some people feel like, say, you know, all of this is just for try to get like a votes and forget the artist them for vote for you, forget the artist them for tell the people them for vote for you. So you know people say you're looking vote, it's not gonna work and all them type of thing they see it. Some persons did a lot of them though, like that person I would say, well done. Um, hold on there. Well done, Jamaica's next Prime Minister. Yes, it. So, you know, election time of forward, my people. And, um, you know, everybody have them choice of who them love and all of them look at things. Yes, it. So, what for those watch and see? But the question I want to ask to you, Zane, who do you feel like I go win the upcoming elections, my people? Zane, um, Labour writer, PNP, more want to tell me in the comment section. Yes, it. So the next thing we're going to talk about is dancehall artist Gage finally addressing some things that is being said about him on the internet. Zine, my people, and recently we see a video, Zine, where some people did a show some clothes out of one yard. Now, it was alleged to say a Gage clothes and things. Zine, my people, the person never called Gage name in the video, but the rumors them did a spread say a Gage clothes and stuff like that. Zine, well, it seemed like a really theme clothes because seemingly him admit it and thing, right? But he must say... They close them, them they are close where must wear one time and him you know, maybe wear a gas stage show and him gate wear whatever it may be. So him say for the whoever show it where for them close, you see my people. Um it is also alleged say gauge did a stay with some people and him never did appear um like rent or bills or whatever it may be, you see me? Gage said that is a lie. You see my people, Gage seemingly very upset. Well, based on him tone and the way my go on in the video, seemed like he was very upset because of these things were spread about him. You see, my people. Now, I don't really know the people them, who are said them thing there, but in the video we hear a man say, yo, you can't come this, my mother, and thing. And it also seemed like them reach out to Pretty Dan and give her some information upon Gage, because I say Pretty Dan the live and You know, she the things. They want to know Pretty Dan get to work already. She the things about Gage and all of them thing them, my people. So... Let me get to this video right now and you can hear what Gage just say and you know Gage just say 
they did the same brother there must say you know him did one k-i-l-l him and all one bag of thing my people check out the clip here stop tell lie stop going like me sit down in a place for two years straight and never pay enough rent bro stop going like that no be more rent no bill stop it bro it will get worse brother you know you know brother you know you know brother <laughs> your your company internet you chat something because you want people to shut you some rules and some ray that's your company internet today you know because apparently your boss you make my boss as artist zine and me a pussy me never do nothing for you i do do things for me still what i can why you not tell your mother that, bro? Why you not tell your mother that? I make she try help you if you pay me back, bro. Make me pay back I can, bro. Why you never tell her that, my brother? No, you're not going to do that. Because that not going to make you look good. And me, you want to look like pussy. Bro, how oh, you dare tell people about your blood class save me from hunger? You know, me cash shot, bro. You is me cash shot, bro. You are me cash shot. Brother, me can shop me and your trust dung. And me can shop me and your trust out. So you tell me about you save me from hunger, bro. When I me pay my bills, them, brother. Me not just have a bag of clothes there when me shot video in a, me do stage show in a, me decide so me not wear them back and me do video in a them, me do stage show in a them. Where them go? Where the f them go? A lie me a tell. No, a p clock lie me a tell. Where them go? Where them go, puppy? Where them go? Who no not wear them? Who no don't wear them? You tell people see your mother buy, buy clothes from foreign. Clothes of me a cost boy. Your mother buy two blood class shirts from half where you call it fucking sitting half a sheen. And I say thank you. Me love them. Thanks. Me get one puffy jacket from her. Them see a woman jacket. Me say thanks. Me love it. Good. I this you this me. So you yeah, notice how me a move from the other day. So me start make money in a pocket. You get to see how me a move from the other day. From which other day? A September me did it from. September me start make money. So oh, when your friend tell me, Monday, Sunday night, so somebody a pray me. And to me a money can cut. Me let Monday morning and Tuesday I tell me, say me a p And you did want to kill me, brother. Yeah, man, so that is what dance all artists gauge have to say, is it, my people? And obviously, you can tell, say, man, feel away about the whole situation because when certain things are spread about you upon the internet, it obviously not going to make you look good and people are going to look upon you. And even as an artist, well, when I say well known, Zane, um, you know, a lot of persons are called out gauge because it seems like the man turned a full time TikToker now. Is it me? Rather than I put out music and it kind of annoys some of the people them because, you know, for you over there, instead of please your fans them where you have one thing. Is it? But Gage better know where I do because you, you, when time you try to make a comeback, because what happens when TikTok, if TikTok goes a boom and crash or whatever it may be, you have to come back to dance hall. So you have to balance the thing and give the people their music. Nothing is wrong with doing TikTok because we see Jada Kingdom over there. We see Wally Pat Top people over there were done rich already so if you even over there try to make a money nothing wrong with that is it but you can't forget about music anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're going to talk about is dancehall queen spice who is currently working on her upcoming album my people is it and i think the next album it will going to do well because obviously spice gained a lot of fans and more popularity um from the go down the song you understand i will say right now how much it has sell how much units it and move and all these things on its way to platinum. So Spice definitely is becoming a household name. Are some people that say she's already, yeah, she's already a household name. But as it relates to dancehall, you know, some people not really get the sales no matter how big it is. You see it. But anyway, Spice got some woman post up that photo there. You know, the queen always looking beautiful and thing. 
one thing with spice you know everything i go match <laughs> or almost everything i go match but anyway my people she posted a photo there and in the caption she said after 17 hours another safe landing best is i flew miles away to write this album what type of songs do you want to hear from me with the question sign my plan is to write at least five to ten songs per day and then choose the best ones hashtag album mode Let's go. You see it, my people. So, you know, she asks the fans them what type of music they want to hear. And, you know, a lot of persons are comment over there. One person say, a nice gospel song, your healing, your journey. Somebody say, real life meds a song I can play every day. Or oh, real life meds type of song them can play every day. Uplifting songs. Um, somebody say, encouraging song to strive through hardship. Somebody said we need collaborations and that's one with a hope to get like Wally per collab and this. Well, I'm not going to say Wally, but you know, some good collaborations and thing. Anyway, somebody said one inspirational song. Um, somebody said any song you put per old school rhythm. Um, yeah, just different, different, you know, people are tell say what they want and thing. Is it? Um, me personally, still, I feel like I'm going like to hear some inspirational songs yes what would i want to hear like some some um crossover type of songs there's me spice featuring even missy elliott or you know them type of thing them are people is it yeah um hopefully she can get her next big hit song like god on the and for some reason i feel like shaggy and sean paul are going to depend on the upcoming album here my people that i'm just where me feel still you know is it i feel like they're going to do a track together Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is a video we see on the internet zine. And it's a youth basically a call out the police. Them claim say they must say run through my yard or run up and down in my yard and, you know, a fire can and them type of thing. There's it. Not sure if I him them come for or if he was the target or whatever it may be zine. But you don't know they must drop. Or one of them must drop them hat in him yard and you never tell him say yo them need for come for them thing or tell him where for leave it or whatever and him say him not care gas station and one bag of thing my people so my run that clip right now and as usual only can tell me anything about this in the comment section mm -hmm. well man tell him You miss an officer who oh, no come at my yard last time, come fire up, you know, shot them. And I run up and down around the place like you know, feel like I see a truck of meat. I want to come for the government things on the left, on the run left of my yard. When I cannot come at people's place and I run and I jump and I hard hurdles and I sit and I drop all different kind of sitting at people's yard. I'm not bringing it down to the station. When you either come for it or inbox me or make me leave it um, out at the front. I don't want to come back at my yard neither. Yeah, my people, so... <laughs> As I said, I like a video here just to make it runs all over the internet and thing. You see it. Um, so, we don't really know if I aim them forward for... You don't know it going when, when time. Some of them you are living in some nice house or some big house or whatever. You don't know the thing already. You don't know, say, you know, sometimes you get targeted, you know, and thing. So, I don't really know. But, man, same now, bring it down to the station and thing. And see, my people. So, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see, my people. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.